Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dawn Baker and I'm Mike Sela. Jury selection officially getting underway today in Effingham County for the person accused of driving through the Let Freedom Ring Parade in Rinkin last year. Anthony Rodriguez is facing multiple charges and as the trial is about to get started, that same parade will take place this weekend. New at 6, WTOC's Camille Syed spoke with parade organizers about the message they want to send to residents. As a jury is now selected in Anthony Rodriguez's trial, organizers of the Freedom Rings Parade say they hope to put the chaotic parade from last year behind them. I have 100% faith in our law enforcement to keep us safe. While attorneys are preparing for a trial for Rodriguez on charges of driving through last year's parade, Susie Davis with Effingham Heroes is preparing for this year's event. Davis says this year the parade has nearly tripled in size from 16 groups to 42 groups participating. Well, I think it speaks well to our community and the fact that we won't be stopped and that we have doubled in size. That just shows our strength and determination. She says she hopes this year is all about celebrating first responders who sacrifice for the Effingham County community. She says Speaker of the House John Burns will also be walking through the parade that starts at 10 a.m. this Saturday. We're going to come out and have a great time. We're not going to let those um, memories of that unauthorized entry hang over us. We're, we're putting it behind us and moving forward. As far as Rodriguez's case during the jury selection, clerk of court Jason Bragg said the trial will begin on July 12th and could last for about three days. Reporting in Effingham County, Camille Syed, WTOC News.